Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across broken registry entries on your Windows computer. So perhaps you're coming up with different errors that say that there are registry files that are no longer available or they're corrupt or missing or cannot be found. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show a very brief and general overview for resolving different errors you might be getting concerning the registry. Now, some people will differ in their opinion about the registry. Some will say you should never run a registry cleaner. Me personally, I disagree with that opinion. I don't see why it's necessarily bad to remove these old and outdated links at times, especially if you are incorporating a backup before actually removing anything. I've been using registry cleaners for many, many years, and every time I've ever made a backup, I've never actually needed to restore it at any point. So if that actually says anything to the power of registry cleaners in today's day and age, it maybe would say more to the registry cleaner that I use. So many of you guys are familiar with CCleaner. I actually have it installed on my computer. You can go on Pureform's website, so you just go open up Google and type in CCleaner. I want to just get it from the official site. I'm going to save you guys the hassle of watching me download and install it. And it's already on the computer here, so it's going to look something along the lines of what you're seeing right here. Just make sure you download the free home version. There's also a professional version they offer that does a little bit more, especially in terms of like real-time monitoring and stuff like that. Just make sure you're selecting the free version when you're downloading the program. People always seem to mess it up on my other CCleaner tutorial video. They're always downloading the wrong link. Some people do that, and I don't think a majority do, but I still hear about it from a sizable minority. It's pretty straightforward. So once you're on the CCleaner page, you want to go underneath the registry option on the left side, and you want to select the scan for issues button. So depending on how old your computer is, you're going to more than likely have more issues than just a few. You might have a whole scroll bar of like a whole bunch of different listings down here. So you want to select the fix selected issues. It's going to prompt you if you want to back up the registry before making the changes. I would select yes. Save it to a convenient location on your computer. For file name, I'd personally delete the default file name in here and just type in the actual date that you are making the backup and select save. Now it saves the desktop, you can see it right here. I'm going to go ahead inside the CCleaner window here and select fix all selected issues so you don't have to go through each individual issue. And it should say issues fixed once you're all done. Click on close, close out of here, restart your computer and hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu, type in disk cleanup. That's match to come back with disk cleanup. Go ahead and left click on that one time to open up the disk cleanup utility. You want to go ahead and select the cleanup system files button. And then you want to select OK once again. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select Delete Files. There also is an option to delete the Windows Update Cache, which is about 500 megabytes in my case. You're welcome to select that as well. That's just more in line of freeing up hard disk space, but that's not really what this video is about, so that's why I did not select it. But anyway, restart your computer and hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. If not, another thing you can try would be to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt, right click on it, and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. And now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it, so just right click after you've highlighted it and then select copy or control C, whatever you prefer, and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once it's pasted in here, hit enter on your keyboard. You will have to wait for this process to complete, and if any items that were detected, it should give you the option to resolve it, restart your computer, and that should be about it. The scan can take a little bit of time to run here though, so I'm not sure if we're actually going to wait for it to finish, but if it does find anything, it should automatically be able to fix it. Otherwise, you might have to restart your computer once it's done. So 
pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.